YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video, and in today's video, we have some more Washington football news. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, in this case, our Washington football team. And let's get straight into today's video. So, yesterday... Why it was my birthday? Yes, it was my birthday. Happy birthday to me! And I just want to say I thank you guys for giving me this platform. It's a very small platform, but we're going to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you guys for giving me this platform to express my love and feelings for the Washington Football Team and the NFL. That's what a lot of people don't forget. We're not just the Washington Football Team, although that's our favorite team on this channel, or excuse me, should I say my favorite team on this channel? Just because it's my favorite team, we still cover all 32. Maybe not as often, but once the NFL season starts, you're going to see. We're covering all 32 teams once the NFL season starts. And that's why I want you guys to subscribe. So it don't matter if you're a fan of the Skins or the Washington football team, the Titans, the Falcons, whatever team that you like, this is the home for you because we cover all 32. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So yesterday, while I was out, Celebrating my birthday. Alex Smith was activated off the PUP list. Now, am I surprised? No, I'm not at all. Because, I mean, a couple weeks back, we all knew this was going to happen at some time and point. Um, because a couple weeks back, I, I would say last week or maybe even two weeks now, he he was he it, it, he was it said that he was on the PUP list, him and Ruben Foster, but he was working to get off of it, and he was working to become, you know, fully healthy. You know, he um Ron Rivera said that he's almost there, but he's just gonna start the, the, the training camp on the PUP list. So what that means was that he was gonna be doing drills off to the side and stuff like that while they have a main practice. And now he's gonna participate in those practices. I mean a couple of days ago Ruben Foster came off of it. So and now Alex Smith is off of it. So this team is getting healthier. I mean, the only other injury that I could think of was Kelvin Harmon, which was, which was a major blow. But other than that, we're staying relatively healthy, and that's really good, man. I'm, I'm actually happy we don't have preseason games because we all know how the preseason treats us, um, especially with Jordan Reed last year. But, um, yeah, man, Alex Smith, I'm not, not um, surprised at all. Congratulations for Alex Smith. And I just wanted to talk about what does this mean for Dwayne Haskins. I mean, like, is it, does that mean he's not going to start? But we've been through this road. I made tons of videos. When this news first came out saying that he was going to be on, um, start up the PP list on training camp, but he was going to later be healthy, once we once that came out, I, I, st I made a video and I said, Dwayne Haskins is the starter of this team. And if you feel different, then you're crazy. Ron Rivera has came out and said Dwayne Haskins is the starter without actually saying it. You guys got to read until when he has these pressers and stuff like that. He's literally saying it without saying Dwayne Haskins is number one. You have to read between the lines. Dwayne Haskins, this is his football team. And if he can't beat out an injured coming back Alex Smith, who I don't even think is still 100%. I mean, and shout out to Ed Oliver. That My man Ed Oliver, I was up. I was up. I don't know why I was up. I think I was on the game or something. But it was like 1.30, uh, 12, 1 .30, And my boy Ed Oliver uploaded a video on this. And shout out to him for grinding that late. And um, he said in his video, he doesn't feel comfortable. I mean, just look at the way he was walking. He's saying that his personal opinion, he doesn't feel comfortable with letting him play. Because, I mean, look at the way he was walking. He's still limping. I mean, and, and I know people are going to say maybe he just has a natural limp now because of the injury. But still, if he has a natural limp, then what do you think he's going to run like? I just don't feel comfortable. And you see how he still wears that leg sleeve. I don't know if he has, has to, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure he has to because no one would just want to walk around with a leg sleeve. Me, personally, I just don't feel comfortable, man. And, and if I'm a quarterback, if I'm Alex Smith, I'm not playing again. And I know it's not all about the money. But you had a good career, and you made tons of money, especially here in Washington, not playing. So the money thing isn't an issue. I know that. But, like, you have nothing else to prove, man. You, you, you're you a warrior. We, we understand that. And you have so much money. You have a lovable family. Uh, shout out to his wife, Liz, man. She helped him throughout this whole thing. But, obviously, he's still a man on a mission. So we can't take that away from him, man. Um, we really can't. But what does this mean for Dwayne Haskins, like I said? Dwayne Haskins is the quarterback on this team. QB number one, whether you like it or not, 
You have to face the truth. This is his franchise until he stinks the Joan up. And I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think he's going to do that. I think he learned and he matured a lot from last year. So now he can carry that into year two and beyond. So I don't think he's going to, I don't think he's going to stink it up, man. Honestly, I don't. So with that being said, Alex Smith, he's going to have to find work somewhere else. Maybe he can be a good mentor for Dwayne Haskins. Actually, he will be a good mentor for Dwayne Haskins, but it's just of how long. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be here one, two years, three years, and still the backup quarterback and just waiting for something to happen to Dwayne. God forbid. Let me knock on some wood here. Had to because I don't want anything to happen to my quarterback, please. But um, I look at it like this. I look at it like this. If Dwayne Haskins can't beat out Alex Smith in training camp, then he just, he shouldn't be the quarterback. He shouldn't be the quarterback. And that's what I, I know a lot of you people want that to happen. I don't know why, but you guys want that to happen. You telling me a 23-year-old Dwayne Haskins can't do what Alex Smith did in 2018? Yeah, he had a 6-3, and three, but he did nothing spectacular. He literally, he literally was a game manager. So you telling me Dwayne Haskins can't dink and dunk, hand the ball off to Adrian Peterson, let him work, hand the ball off to Bryce Love, uh, and, and Antonio Gibson at times, and Peyton Barber? You telling me he, you telling me Dwayne Haskins can't do that? You telling me he can't get underneath routes to Steven Sims, Terry McLaurin, throw it out the backfield to Bryce Love, Antonio Gibson? You telling me he can't do that? What was so spectacular about Alex Smith's 6-3 and three run? Please, someone tell me. Please. I, I really want to know. For the people that is against Dwayne Haskins starting and want Alex Smith to start, please let me know. What did Alex Smith do so spectacular for you to be so happy for him to come back? I Me, mean, personally, I, congratulations, man. Yeah, you got us to 6-3, and three, but you did nothing spectacular that really would have determined whether or not us making the playoff or not. Because, I mean, yeah, we were 6-3, and three, but we still had a whole other half a season to play, so we don't know how that would have turned out. And a lot of people are going to say, well, we would have been, we would have made the playoffs. You don't know that. I'm, I'm hoping we would have made the playoffs, and it would have been cool, but you don't know that. So, ah, man, I, I, don't, I don't really see why people think Dwayne Haskins isn't going to win this job, man. The dude is on a whole different level, man. His, his, he's not the same Dwayne Haskins where he was last year at this time. This point in time last year, he was a rookie. He was high-headed because he got drafted, and he thought he was the stuff. Now he got quickly level-headed by the NFL and, and the NFL reality. So he has to – he finally got his stuff together. Let me just say it that way. I didn't want to say it the other way, but he finally matured. And got his stuff together. And now he's a whole different animal. And you guys are going to see. You guys are going to understand week one. Why I'm pushing so hard for Dwayne Haskins. And why I believe that he has the ability to win MVP. You can call me crazy. But I really believe that. Check back with me in nine months. So with that being said. It's been my, it's been your boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Washington football team. Once again, Alex Smith has been activated off the PUP list. And is at training camp right now as we speaking. Practicing with the team. So congratulations, Alex Smith. Um, uh, I, I, I guess use him as trade bait maybe. I don't know. Because I don't think no team would want to trade for him. I don't think so. Unless they just desperate for a backup quarterback. Then you would trade him maybe for a 6th, 5th round. I would do it just to get him off the books. But I don't know. I don't think no team would trade for him. But it's a team out there that would pull a trigger. I mean, a 6th and 5th round is not that... A lot of people might look at it as not being that bad. But we know those are worth some. Especially with Kyle Smith running this draft show. He knows what he's doing. So, we could maybe use him as trade bait. Maybe use this year, this year. Because he's only he's 36. And he still wants to play, obviously. So maybe use this year as him being the backup and mentor from Dwayne. Do what Patrick Mahomes did. Use them. Not not saying that's a bad thing. It's not. Trust me. But he used them. Uh, he used them to learn everything. He he was a sponge, and he he soaked up everything. And then they got rid of him. So now it's time for Dwayne Haskins to do that, and we trade him. Maybe I doubt it. I doubt someone trades for him. But you never know. So as always, Ben Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, Scott Hill to the Washington football team. And I welcome back Alex Smith. And tomorrow it all begins because the team gets pads.
Like, comment, subscribe, hello to watch the football team. I'm out. Peace.